सो बेटा फाइनली वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर अ मैनुफेक्चरिंग अकाउंट ना सर वॉट डज अ मैनुफेक्चरिंग अकाउंट मीन्स मैनुफेक्चरिंग अकाउंट मीन्स इट कंटेन्स द टोटल ऑफ ऑल द मैनुफेक्चरिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस मैनुफेक्चरिंग कॉस्ट दैट आर इनकर्ड इन द मैनुफेक्चरिंग अकाउंट मीन्स द कॉस्ट दैट आर इनकर्ड इन द फैक्ट्री टू मैनुफेक्चर और प्रोड्यूस द प्रोडक्ट ओके so there are basically two columns in a manufacturing account and we'll be starting with the first component that we have learned, uh, understood previously that is direct material okay we have already learned what does a direct material means and if you haven't uh, don't know what does direct material means then you must refer to the previous lesson relating to cost classification in which we have discussed different types of cost and how to calculate the material that is being used in to manufacture the product beta will be starting with opening inventory and the opening inventory must be of what uh, raw material okay opening inventory means we already have this much of material that is left uh, over from the previous year okay so it doesn't necessarily mean that every year uh, we have used the entire material that we have bought maybe uh, we the material that is left over will be using it in the next year okay so if you are making the account for 21 the uh, 2021 uh, then uh, the 2020 material that was left over will be using it in 21 okay then uh, we need to add purchases this is the new material that we have bought this year then we have a carriage inward carriage inward basically means transportation cost and the transportation cost that is relating to the material that we have bought it is carriage inward and this would basically add up in the material itself so therefore the material cost would increase then beta we have purchase return purchase return means the material that was faulty or we did no longer required that and maybe it was of the wrong specification so therefore we return this material to our suppliers then we need to less the closing inventory so again it's not necessarily uh, means that all of the material that we have bought this year we must use this uh, on 31st december okay any material that is left over it will be carried forward to the next year and this would not be charged to uh, this year instead this would be charged in the next year as opening inventory so if we add and subtract all of these you have also uh, studied uh, this format previously but previously when we studied this format this was while making an income statement and the final answer for this was cost of sales but right now uh, this is not would be termed as cost of sales it would be termed as cost of raw material consumed a uh, cost of raw material consumed beta means uh, this is the total raw material uh, that was used in the apple factory to make iphones this year okay so this is the total amount of material cost that has been incurred to make an iphone now the question is arises uh, if all of the material or components that are required to make iphone if we keep the material in one of the factory so does the iphone uh, would manufacture themselves no someone has to do the work to manufacture those iphones okay and the people who are going to assemble those iphones or work on the machines uh, would be termed as direct labor okay direct labor also termed as direct wages or production wages here uh, is the uh, workers that are directly involved in assembling those iphones or making the components uh, using the machines and these are termed as direct labor so after direct material direct labor there comes the third direct component and that is name as direct expense and another name for direct expense is royalty and if the examiner use any word other than direct expense or royalty then it would be a, a maybe general expense of the factory and all of these uh, expenses other than direct would be termed as an indirect expense and this would be recorded under the heading of production over it beta if we add up all of the direct costs we have studied previously as well in cost classification if we add up all of the direct costs then it would be termed as prime cost prime cost beta is the sum of all direct costs then after prime cost uh, would comes indirect cost in the factory there are not only the direct cost to make an iphone there are indirect costs as well and what would be the indirect cost it would be termed as production overhead or factory overhead or manufacturing overhead so beta in the production overhead part will be starting with indirect labor and there can be uh, this sequence can um, be depending on the question 
एंड दिस सिक्वेंस यू मस्ट फॉलो दिस सिक्वेंस इन द एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन इनडायरेक्ट लेबर बेटा इज एनी लेबर दैट इज नॉट डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व इन असेंबलिंग द आई फोन एंड एनी लेबर दैट इज मे बी सुपरवाइजर और मे बी सिक्योरिटी गार्ड और मे बी वॉचमैन और मे बी इलेक्ट्रिशियन और स्वीपर्स क्लीनर दीज आर ऑल इन डायरेक्ट लेबर ऑफ द फैक्ट्री then about other cause that can be incurred maybe the manager of the apple factory okay uh, he is looking uh, into the production and whether the workers are doing the work properly okay or maybe the supervisors uh, of the factory these are all termed as uh, production overhead then there can be any type of indirect expense okay it would also be termed as production overhead then there is a rent rent that relates to the factory would go in here in the manufacturing account Uh, uh same is the case with insurance for example the examiner says that 75% of the rent and insurance relate to the factory so what we need to do we need to apportion the rent uh, 75% okay or 3/4 and the remaining 25% would not need to be charged here in the manufacturing account instead it would be recorded in the income statement okay and there can be some other costs as well maybe depreciation if the depreciation is relating to factory plant and machinery it must be charged here and if the depreciation is relating to the office related assets such as office computer or office equipment or maybe the motor vehicles uh, that are used uh, 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 in the office okay uh, with the accountant or uh, admin manager and that depreciation would be charged in the income statement okay so if i add up all of the indirect costs these two columns are not debit credit these are just for the presentation purpose uh, if i add up all of these indirect costs this is production overhead these are the direct costs prime cost is the direct cost and production overhead are indirect cost if i add up both the direct and indirect cost this will be no name figure although there is no name for this value but still we need to calculate this value because sometime examiner gave one mark for this as well and finally beta there are some adjustment relating to work in progress and what is work in progress by the way work in progress uh, we can see sometimes especially in pakistan that most of the uh, flyovers and underpasses and uh, the bridges uh, the work is progress uh, board is written okay this means the road has been started uh, the repair work or the construction work but the work has not yet finished okay as, as similar is the case with the buildings so the work in progress are basically incomplete goods either they are 10% complete or either they are 90% complete these would be termed as work in progress okay so beta the opening work in progress needs to be added and the closing work in progress is need to be deducted so what is the concept for this sir uh, beta it doesn't mean that uh, uh, whenever the year ends 31st december this is the last day of the year it doesn't mean that 100% of the production is complete okay so any the any goods that are still incomplete we will be uh, completing it in the next day and the next day would be 1st january 22 would be a new year okay so the goods that are still incomplete would not uh, need to be charged this year uh, because these would be completed in the next year so therefore i am deducting this work in progress closing and what about this uh, this opening work in progress beta Uh, similarly the goods that were incomplete uh, at the end of 2020 would needs to be completed here in 2021 okay so the opening work in progress uh, these are the incomplete goods that we are going to complete this this year and these are the goods that will be completed in the later year that is next year so we need to take the difference of opening and closing and if the opening work in progress is more than closing then the final answer would be positive and if the closing is more than opening then the final answer would be a negative and if the final answer is positive we need to add up in this uh, no name figure and if the final answer is negative then this needs to be deducted from this no name figure and finally beta it would be production cost or factory cost or manufacturing cost okay this is the production cost part finally there is one more adjustment in that and that is factory profit what does factory profit means beta uh here the factory would also earn some of the profit from its outlet okay so apple factory is making the goods and they are transferring these iphones to the apple store okay so apple factory have decided 
that why not we must also charge some of the profit from the apple store and the apple store can still charge some more profit from the final customers so for example an iphone that costs one thousand dollar to the apple factory iphone has decided apple company has decided to make 25 percent profit while selling these iphones to the apple store okay so the thousand dollar phone would be uh, given to the uh, sold to the outlet for 1250 dollars maybe and then the apple store would resell the this phone uh, that uh, they have bought from the factory for 1250 maybe for 1500 okay so in that case it's a win-win situation uh, the factory uh, can also earn the profit and the outlet can uh, earn some more profit okay so therefore the factory profit uh, would be given as a percentage and the percentage that is being applied on the cost would be termed as markup okay we'll be discussing about what is a markup and margin means uh, if we add up uh, the cost and the factory profit the final value would be termed as transfer value of the finished goods and what does transfer value means beta transfer value means this is the selling price that the apple store is selling the iphones to the sorry the factory is selling the phones to the apple store on this price and obviously the uh, apple store still uh, they also want to earn their own profit for, so therefore they will uh, sell it for more than they have actually purchased the goods from the factory okay so beta this is how we make manufacturing account and then in the next lesson we'll be solving the question for manufacturing account